Hey guys, today I'm going to bring you a little quick video on how to get stubs quicker and how to get more of them. So first off, there isn't really a big get rich quick method to getting stubs unless you buy them or get lucky with the community challenge. For my first thing that I would do is just play a lot of the games. It, the, the As I said in earlier videos, I believe that the amount of stubs you take in a bit increased compared to last year. Last year in one franchise game or an exhibition game or a full size game, I would get about 40 to 50 stubs maybe. And this year in Diamond Dynasty, at least I haven't done any franchise yet because I'm waiting for the Operation Sports roster. But in Diamond Dynasty games, I usually get around 200. I think because um, yesterday I put in an order for Polanco and I had about 225 and then I put an order for 300 and I left and once I got back in the game I had like 210. So that was probably around a 230, 40 something just for like that game and I think the guy actually quit so it was only like 6 innings. But yeah, that's also the best way to get cards and equipment and stuff like that too. The second way is to go into your inventory and oh, Cameron Maven. <laughs> the best way, the second best way is to sell your duplicates or items you don't want. So for example, I got three. Well, oh, I'm gonna go for one that seems a lot, that seems to be worth a little more. Uh, yeah, so I got three of these sponsorships from Mizuno. You click that, you go into view and marketplace, and it has buy now. I don't want to sell that because that's not really worth anything. Let's see, we'll, we'll just go with this one, no matter what it is. Okay, yeah. So, you're going to want to go here, and you're going to want to click buy sell options, and then you want to go click for a sale order. And then you will get taxed 5%, so let me see what the price was. You're always going to want to sell around 10, depending on what the price is, a little lower than the guy right here. So he's selling it for 180. So I'm going to sell it for 150. And I'll receive 142 stubs. Finalize order. And there it is. And you're not guaranteed to sell it, but I I have sold quite a bit of things last night. Like last night I made around 4,000 stubs just by selling all my duplicate players that I got from all the packs I turned in. It is also, the, the stubs in my opinion, they they have, the main use for me is for packages. I really like it though. I really like to, yeah, never mind. I, I can't remember what I was going to say. But, uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure if I have any duplicate players right now. But, yeah, and silvers actually can go for quite a bit. Like, I'm just going to. Look how much Michael Walker is. There's 1,500. I'm obviously not going to sell him, but that just shows you. And then, well, that, that's the second method. That I it can be very useful. And then the third method is community challenges. So a lot of these have like what they do. Whenever the challenge is done, you have to put in a cost for some of these. Like right here, 10 and 15. You get you put in 10 stubs, and if you complete it, you get five, you get five stubs back. It says 15, but really you get five because you spent the 10 to get to get into the reward here. I always look at the check marks and then how many people played. Like right here, only 983 out of 5,476. I would not do that if I'm looking to get some stubs. Uh, this one here, except you get nothing for winning. This one, I would look at and just spam it, like constantly do it, because it's a low risk, and depending on how easy you find it, you can just keep on spamming it. And then, yeah. So just find, like last year there was one, stayed, I got around 100 every time I did it, and I just, I just spammed it when I won stubs. And also when a challenge first gets created, there's the jumpstart progress, which it... I'm not sure how many completions need to happen before it goes back to the normal thing for what the user set it for, but you get 10 subs when you beat it. And then the other way you can get subs with community challenges is to make them. Like I made one right here. Uh, I don't know how much I've made. You can find out, click on leaderboard. I got seven subs. Not a lot, but 
Depending, you can, you can get popular and you can get a lot. So those are my those are my best ways, in my opinion, to get more stubs quickly and efficiently. I think I've probably actually made around ten thousand since launch day, and I'm only level twelve, so it's not like I've been no life in it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm gonna have more videos up very soon. Probably gonna do a Diamond Dynasty, like your Diamond player. I might do a tutorial on him soon, but this is just a quick video on how to get quicker stubs. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see ya.